Hey wonderful human beings and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy and I share lots of vegan recipes and tips to help you live well. And I'm back with another what I eat in a week video. You guys always request these and they're actually pretty fun to make because it challenges me to eat different things every day. I'm definitely a creature of habit, so that doesn't always happen otherwise. Right now I'm in Amsterdam again, so I think I've done one more what I eat in a week video in Amsterdam, and you'll see that the food that I eat is definitely a little bit different than what I would usually eat at home in New York. I'm also living with my boyfriend right now. I love his curries, which you guys probably know, and we ate a lot of them this week in particular. We also did a decent amount of takeaway this week, but mainly because I'm also filming another video, which you guys will see up maybe in like a week or so, which is a video all about my favorite vegan friendly spots here in Amsterdam. So in order to film that, we had to eat out quite a bit and I do love supporting local vegan restaurants as well. And of course, a couple of disclaimers because I always think that's really important when it comes to what I eat in a day videos. What I feature and show in a video is never intended to be a meal plan. If anything, it's just supposed to serve as vegan meal inspiration for you guys. And the meals that you see are just meals that I happen to eat. A lot of the time, I'm really bad about remembering to film like second portions, or snacks and desserts, it is really hard to remember no matter how hard you try. So do not take this as something prescriptive. Just watch it for entertainment and meal ideas if you need any. And as always, I don't track my calorie intake, so that's not going to be a focus of this video. Um, even if you were to ask me, I just genuinely have no idea. All right, so let's get into it. This is what I happen to eat um, during a random week in my life. To start the week, I made a protein smoothie for both Mo and I, so I used some zucchini in the base. Trust me, it's completely flavorless and just a great way to blend in some extra veggies. It's one of my personal favorite ingredients in a smoothie, along with banana, of course. And we just used fresh banana. I didn't freeze them in advance because this blender was one that I kind of just picked up randomly here, and I wasn't sure if it could handle frozen bananas or really tough to blend ingredients. I added some of my favorite chocolate protein powder. This was a new bag so I was struggling a little bit with the scoop and I added two servings because I made this for both Mo and I. To blend, I just added in a little bit of unsweetened soy milk along with peanut butter for both flavor and extra protein. But I mean, let's be real, peanut butter is never a bad idea, so I added in uh, a bunch of that and then let everything blend. I struggled a little bit with putting the top on this one, so uh, Mo came in handy here and saved the day. Since I chose my blender based on price, I literally chose the lowest cost one that I could find. It was a little bit lower in power as well and I had to scrape down the sides just to make sure everything was nice and blended. This really brought me back to my college days when I used to use a little bullet style blender and would have to constantly scrape the sides down, but it did the trick. We had some delicious smoothies. So let's talk about this election, Kelly. No. Well, this will be, this video will go up in the future, hopefully once it's already decided, so. Let's hopefully be able to say Joe George. Joe Daddy. <laughs> Am I buff yet? I just finished my protein shake. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I might need some more. Maybe if I have more peanut butter. Later in the day, I snacked on some of this Indian snack mix or Indian Chex mix made by my friend Asha. It is so delicious. I ended up eating it with a spoon because I was kind of at the bottom of it, but yum. This stuff is super addictive. Anyways, I found something really interesting at the grocery store, some pulled oat protein, which I've never seen before, and I was really excited to try out. So Mo actually whipped up a curry for me, and this is a recipe that we have in a YouTube video and also on my website. Um, super simple, but we made it with zucchini and of course the pulled oat protein protein just to kind of try it out and I have to say the texture ended up reminding me a lot of like a pulled pork or just a very slow cooked meat pretty flavorless on its own but definitely recommend trying it out I was really full from lunch so I ended up eating dinner a lot later than I normally would I steamed some rice and then I made a quick broccoli and tofu stir fry kind of like a chicken and broccoli stir fry but vegan of course I sauteed that with coconut aminos lots of garlic and a touch of oil 
It was one of those super easy, lazy dinners that was also really satisfying and nutritious as well. Really checked all the boxes for me. Oh, and don't forget to use your broccoli stems too. They are just as delicious and should not go to waste. To spruce the dish up a little bit, I also topped it off with some chopped green onions. I thought about taking a photo of this and then I kind of gave up because the sun has been setting so early lately, so lighting has been pretty brutal after 3 p.m., which is crazy and a little bit depressing. That's just winter for you, I guess. Uh, but because I was eating dinner later than usual, I actually ended up eating around the same time as Mo did, which was really nice. He is a much later eater than I am, so it's rare that we eat dinner at the same time. And that's what we did. We just chatted, ate dinner, listened to some new Ariana Grande songs, and it was delicious. The next morning, breakfast was pretty simple. I sauteed up some tempeh that I had in the fridge, ate that with a side of blueberries, and then also made avocado toast with this gluten-free bread that I bought at the store. Uh, I was really lazy with it. I just sliced avocado, topped it with nooch, and also garlic salt, but I have to say it was delicious. And of course, I went ham with the nooch. In preparation for lunch, I decided to roast up some veggies and I also wanted to use these really cute mini Brussels sprouts that I got at the store. So I tossed a bunch of veg into a bowl along with lots and lots of garlic, some fresh thyme for a little herbal flavor. I wish I had rosemary as well, but I had to make do with what we had. And I topped it off with lots of salt and fresh cracked black pepper as well tossed it all in a bowl with just a touch of oil again to make the roasting a little bit easier and pop the salt in the oven. I really liked the way that I made tempeh for breakfast, so I ended up making tempeh the same exact way for lunch and served it with a side of the roasted veggies fresh from the oven, along with a little side of avocado for some healthy fats. And that was my lunch. Super basic and simple, kind of like a nourish plate almost, but really, really good and easy. I was in the mood for something a little sweet and peanut buttery, so after lunch I had a little snack slash dessert of a Go Macro Bar. This was a really chilly day, so I was craving some hot soup for dinner and I made this delicious, nourishing lentil soup. I've been craving a lot more warm and cooked foods, so oatmeal has been something that I've been loving lately, and this has to be the best bowl of oatmeal that I've made in a long time. I found a recipe in a fellow vegan friend's ebook for caramelized banana and pecan oatmeal, but I swapped the base out for some chocolate protein oats instead because I was making this for Mo and I, and I just thought it would be a nice way to get some extra protein into his diet as well. So I used the same chocolate protein powder that I used in our smoothies earlier in the week, and then this is the best part. I started to caramelize the bananas, and to do this, all you really need to do is add the bananas along with your sugar of choice. I used coconut sugar, a couple of other ingredients, and then let the heat do its magic. To make it even better, I also added in some pecans per the recipe, and I cannot recommend this recipe enough. It takes oatmeal to the next level. If you guys want to try this recipe out, which I highly recommend you do, it is from an ebook that's part of the plant-based bundle, and my ebook is actually part of it this year too, which is super exciting. If you're not familiar with the plant-based bundle, it is a collection of over 80 vegan ebooks by all of us creators here on the internet. We've come together to bring you guys an insane discount of 97% for the entire bundle. We just want to share the vegan love, and this is a deal that will be going on only for about 10 days through the end of November. So if if you're interested, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. Now for lunch, Mo and I went to one of our favorite vegan vegetarian spots here. It's buffet style, which is really fun because they switch out the menu fairly often. And one of my favorite things is their peanut tofu curry. It's so good. I have to recreate it. 
Later on in the day, I snacked on some gluten-free crackers. These are weirdly good. I'm very into them. And then here's me being a bad YouTuber and forgetting to film my salad about 99% of the way through it. This is a classic recipe that I eat all the time, so you guys probably know what it is. It is my kale Caesar salad, and yeah, that was it. Yum. The next morning, I started the day with a ginger shot, and I normally do like ginger shots, but this one was just not the best. Um, anyways, hashtag health. And then for breakfast, I had some soy yogurt along with some blueberries and peanut butter. This may sound like a little bit of a strange combo, but trust me when I say it is super delicious. Even better if you can add a little bit of cinnamon and maybe some cacao nibs as well. And also extra delicious when the blueberries are frozen. But like I said, I've been craving warmer foods and it's been really cold. I had some time in the middle of the day to experiment with a recipe that I've had my eye on for a while. This one is by my friend Liz. I think that on YouTube, her YouTube channel is called Loud Noodle. I'm not sure, but I'm going to leave it in the description box below. This is her recipe for Brazilian cheesy bread, and it's something that I've grown up eating and absolutely loved because I do have a Brazilian family member. But of course, we made it vegan. Here's Mo dumping in some vegan cheese and really just letting it rain. One of my favorite things to do is to recreate recipes that I used to eat before going vegan and making them vegan. It's usually pretty easy and always so satisfying. I mean, look at this texture. I think I must have been in the mood to try all of my friend's recipes on this day because we made another one of my friend's recipes, this vegan Japanese curry that's also gluten-free friendly because a lot of Japanese curry blocks are made with wheat flour. Anyway, this is a recipe by my friend Lisa and you can find it on her website. I'll link that as well. And I brought back the pulled oats for this one. Absolutely delicious. On Friday, breakfast was matcha zucchini oatmeal. Now, before you call me crazy, it is actually a really delicious combination. And like I said, zucchini is one of those vegetables that I find is really easy to hide. I like it because it really bulks the oats up and it's also a nice little serving of veggies first thing in the morning. This is actually a recipe from my ebook. And I also find that the zucchini adds a nice extra boost of green along with the matcha, of course. So I love this for breakfast. It's a great way to kind of wake yourself up with veggies, oats, all the good stuff. To serve, I added a little dollop of soy yogurt for extra creaminess and a little boost of healthy fats as well. And then for a touch of natural sweetness, I added some chopped strawberries on top. I think it's really nice to add a little something sweet because matcha is naturally a little bit bitter. This recipe and my ebook are part of the plant-based bundle, so if you try it, let me know what you think. This day got randomly really busy. We ended up spending most of our day out of the house, so I leaned in on takeaway again, but this was one of my all-time favorite spots here called Oliver Green, and I got their black lentil bolognese over zoodles with some really bomb vegan parmesan on top, and it was basically the perfect meal. Kind of wanted some greens, some veggies, and also a little bit of protein, so it really hit the spot. I started to feel a little snacky in the afternoon, so I had one of these Mezcla protein bars. This has been one of my greatest finds of 2020, and I'm really into them, so I brought a couple with me. Then we took a little work break and went for a walk to grab some coffee for Mo. I basically just joined him on his coffee run. And later that night, we got some takeaway vegan ramen. Now this place, you guys may know, I am pretty obsessed with. I made an entire TikTok all about them, but it's vegan ramen, and it is... Oh, it is just chef's kiss, wonderful, amazing, divine, fabulous, must try. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments if you did and which meal looked the best to you. If you're looking for even more vegan meal inspiration, you can check out my previous What I Eat in a Week videos, or you can head to my website, veggiekinsblog.com, where I have all of my recipes, tons of vegan meal inspiration there as well. Stay tuned for my upcoming Best of Amsterdam vegan guide, which will be coming out in a future video, probably in about a week or so. And if you're interested in the plant-based bundle, don't forget to check it out because that is only going on for 10 days, I believe. So that ends November 30th, and it's an awesome deal, especially if you're someone that loves a variety of vegan food inspo. All right, I'll see you guys in another video soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I know to make more videos like this. I'll see you in another one soon. Bye! Eee.